want to put in this window trim and I'm going to start by checking this for level and it looks like the framing is really good. I don't know if you can see the bubble. It looks really good all the way across. So I'm going to take that off. First thing I want to do is little liquid nails. seem to get a lot of wear and tear. People put their knees on them, they put plants on them. I want them to be really solid. Kids will climb on them. Now I've got, I've got the 18 gauge Brad Nailer, which is these little tiny nails. I've also got these 15 gauge and these are two inch. And I'll use the 18 gauge for the skirt underneath and the larger nails up here on top to hold this in place. Go back and check it for level. Not as good as it was. So I had a little bit of a hump in the middle, maybe too much glue or something. So with the nails in it, I can tap it down, get it where I want it. Um, it's looking really good. Um, I'm using this little smooth face finish hammer so that I don't put any kind of marks in this MDF. Um, I've got that set where I want it. Now I've got this little skirt that goes underneath. You see that there's a little detail on the end there. I'm trying to get a quarter inch reveal here and here and make sure that it's the same on both sides. So those, those smaller nails will hold that bottom skirt on there. And I'll put a few to tie it in from the top. Um, it's gonna finish up really nice. And it's good and solid. Kids can climb on it. Um, I could probably sit on it and be just fine. Um, so I've got a few more of these to do. And I'll take you along.
These 15 gauge nails might be a little bit overkill, but I'll sleep better. So I'm a little bit high in the middle. Much better. Perfect. If your window seal is out of out of level, however that might be, the same shims that you use for setting doors or um, any kind of wood wedge doesn't have to be necessarily one of these cedar shims, which let you level things out if you had to on one side. Um, Luckily, the framing in this particular building is, is right on. I haven't found anything that's out of whack. A little sawdust. So, I think maybe what I've got on this one is I've got a little sheetrock that's a little high here. I've already gone through and cleaned off, some, there were some staples. Um, there was some glue, there was some <coughs> expanding foam underneath the window, and I cut all that out, cleaned them out, and vacuumed it out before I came through to, to set all this trim work. Now, I'm not going to shim the middle. I've got this level across here. I had to add one shim. Um, but I've got that glue in there and I push that glue down and when it dries and hardens up It's going to fill that space create a bond and it'll carry the weight of whatever gets set on here So now all I need to do is cut this shim off and then I can put the skirt in place It'll cover up the shim. Nobody will ever know that it was there It's easy to just take a, a razor blade And they snap right out of there. Easy. Easy peasy. I really like this detail. I think it looks good. I like it how it makes a larger area for setting stuff catching dust, whatever. Um, but you could make them come out a little further if you wanted. Um, there's a lot of options with this style. You can change the detail on here. You could double stack underneath it, making more of a decorative trim. Um, but this is a, a really cool look. And I definitely like this better than just wrapping the whole window in sheetrock. Because having sheetrock down here where you're setting stuff, where you might be cleaning, um, it just seems like the sheetrock around the bottom of the window gets beat up really fast. Here I am, I'm in the kitchen. Um, I got the same, same window seal, uh, same skirting. Something to consider in here is you may want to go with a larger area in the kitchen because kitchens seem to fill up with knickknacks and and different things above the sink the other thing to consider is how close are your cabinets going to come to this window um, in other per parts of the house i've got a two and a half inch wing out here and in the kitchen i went down to two inches 
um, and all the windows that are in this kitchen living room area are at two inches. And the reason for that is that it, I wasn't real sure exactly where the cabinets were gonna line up. And, and so when we come along to put the cabinets in, I didn't wanna find that I had gone too far out here on this, on this window sill, on this little decorative detail that I was gonna be frustrated and either have to cut it out or adjust the cabinets or, or whatever. So I, I just, I brought it in a little bit. Um, but those are some things to think about is you may want to go a little bigger because for sure this is going to be a nice countertop area. So these are, these are six inches. You could go to an eight inch or something here. It would pop out a little further, but it would give you more surface area to put plants or decorative knickknacks or whatever it is that you put in your kitchen window seal. So there is quite a bit of work to putting all of these parts and pieces together. Um, you can see we've had to router this piece, we had to cut this piece, we had to obviously cut out these pieces. This is all custom finish work. Um, but what you get is a custom product and it solves a problem. They don't, they don't just make a trim kit at Home Depot that fits this window. So this gives you custom finish work it solves a problem and it's going to be a good product that's, that's going to last a long time. Now, a lot of people don't like MDF, this multi-directional fiber board, um, which is fine. It's, it's got its place and it it's, sands up really smooth. It paints really nice. It's really inexpensive. Um, it's easy to work with. It does have some flexibility to it. Uh, I like working with it on anything that is paint grade, but it comes at a price. I hate the dust. I hate the cleanup. Um, it's, I'd much rather be working with a natural wood product. I'd, if I had a knobby alder or white pine or something that was going to be a stain grade finish, um, I'd much rather be doing that. But first of all, your, your finish work has to be much better because you can't putty over or sand over or paint over any of your mistakes. Everything is going to be seen, so everything has to be perfect on stain grade. Um, it's also very expensive in comparison. If this stuff is, say, whatever, 60 cents a foot, you might be a dollar eighty or two dollars a foot for a natural wood product um, to do the same thing. And the finish work is a lot slower because everything has to be just right on. I mean, you're, you're down to the 64th, not, not the 8th, not the 16th. You're down to the 64th. You, it's got to be really, really tight. Um, every knot's going to be in the right location because if you put a finish nail through a knot and it, it pushes things apart or whatever. So it's a stain grade product is a lot nicer for sure, but it comes at a, at a, a greater cost for the labor, greater cost for the material. Um, and so it's not really justified on, on a little 800 square foot apartment. Um, if you wanna do stain grade on the main floor of your house, awesome. And then do paint grade upstairs and paint grade downstairs. Something like that is a nice blend, a nice option. Um, or there's, there's other ways to do that, um, but I've, I've got, I get a lot of kickback on MDF stuff and I get it. It's not high dollar stuff. It is, um, it really is the best for painting with. It doesn't have the knots or the grains in it. It doesn't soak up paint or primer like natural wood does. So there's, there's some good to MDF. There's also some bad. Done and done. So don't forget in kitchens where you've got cabinets and other things around the window to think about how wide you want this. And in an area that you may use that window seal more, um, for example, if you're finishing a living room and you want to put plants in that window and your, plant, your pots are large, you may want to bump that out to eight or 10 inches. Um, that's, that's certainly doable. Or if you're in your kitchen where you're gonna put a lot more trinkets, knickknacks, 
maybe maybe go a little larger. Um, those are just that's I think that's the the thing that I like about finish work is there's so much uh, creativity and design and no one place is like the other. Thank you.